interesting to comment by politicians at uh, Jacob Juma's requiem service, Kenyan Deputy President William Bruto dismissed claims attributed to Cyrus Girongo that the slain businessman once slapped the Deputy President. During the service, the politician is said to have demanded that police question the Deputy President over the murder of Jacob Juma because, according to Girongo, Juma had a confrontation with the Deputy President at some point. Through his legal advisor, Korea Singoe, Ruto has said that Durongo's comments appear to imply that the deputy president had something to do with that murder. The deputy president has stated that he never had any physical contact with the slain businessman and therefore the allegations of Juma slapping him could never have arisen. Ruto says such claims are false, unfounded, malicious, mischievous and only serve to malign and and uh, and da damage his character the deputy president's legal advisors therefore warned that anyone that disseminates publishes or circulates the comments by those who attended that service will face legal action that is the latest reaction from deputy president william bruto on some of the allegations some of the remarks that were made at that memorial of Jacob Juma today. Let's now try and see if we can get some answers because there have been a lot of questions with respect to Jacob Juma and, of course, his murder. That happened last week on Thursday. And in studio, I'm joined by Eric Wright, who's a government spokesperson. Thank you so much for joining us on KTN Prime tonight, sir. And A, tonight I'm speaking to you um, from your position of government spokesperson, but I'm also borrowing from your experience um, within the police force. And I, I would like you to help us to understand um, some of the questions that are being asked by Kenyans, especially looking at the case on Jacob Juma. His wife says a week down the line, no one has contacted her. Does that make sense to you? Is there any logical explanation why the wife of Jacob Juma has not been contacted by the police? Uh, first of all, Linda, I must tell you that uh, this case of murder demonstrates how callous we have become as a society, as a society. In other circumstances, and as you have witnessed from the family, from the children, to whom I would want to pass my condolences. Mm. And of course, uh, this kind of event causes fear despondency and a lot of grief to those involved so one would have expected that uh, some of the people commenting who are elders in this republic would have been a bit more careful but having said that okay. i'll move first and inform you that in a case of this nature once an investigation team has been assembled they will make an investigation plan I would regard it as most unprofessional if the first port of call would be to a grieving widow. It's the expectations of the widow are understood. I understand them very well, but I can tell you as a professional policeman, the people maybe who could have been dispatched to that end and our circumstances are counselors. There is so much to do. Getting to Granted. identify the criminals and assemble the evidence in a case of this matter is a painstaking, tedious job which requires a lot of commitment, a lot of soberness, and in a case like this, a lot of filtering of what you are hearing. Which, of course, now makes me even have more questions because you're saying um, tackling a case like this is not one of the easiest. But then one would expect that you'd, the, the wife would be the first person to be contacted. A, um, did he call you? What did he say? Did he share his concerns? Did he try to send an SMS? That is where you begin from. A week down the line, she says no one has contacted her. She has not recorded any statement. And here's the thing. Um, Jacob Juma was shot down on Thursday at about 10.30 p.m. as at the following day in the morning no one had even reached out for her i would look at the procedure and i would say when something like this happens first of all you secure the scene um, you take the victim you try and identify them if you can't look through um, the database of fingerprints and try to figure out who this person is then logically look for the next of kin so uh, several hours down the line no one has contacted the wife actually she found out when she went to school that's how she found out that her husband had been shot dead and seven days down the line no one has even contacted her not 
even a statement. Mr. Kirait, it's not making a lot of sense, is it? Uh, so for this, some of these finer details, I will still insist mm. it will be quite unprofessional in every sense of the word. For me, as a government spokesman, to even try to interfere with the investigators demanding a brief at this point in but time. But does it make sense to you that a week down the line, no one has I, I, I am putting myself you? into the shoes of the investigator. You can see even the DCI has been very measured. Yeah, there's very little information. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, recall not very long ago, a, a honorable member of parliament was murdered on, on, on Kenyatta Highway. Yes. And we went on, on, on a, a payukaring spree. What came of it? And I'll close my case at that point. So in other words... I will not go any further mm. on that issue. Mm -hmm. Let me pass my condolences to the family. I understand their grief. I feel the pain of that young man. I understand their feeling of exposure. And I'm asking God to give them the peace of mind. There's so much. I will let deserve. it go, but the explanation you're giving clearly does not make sense. So here's the next question. Um, there are alarming statements that were given today by some leaders. And of course, we've seen the deputy president reacting to some of it. But then when you look at uh, the Twitter handle of uh, the late Jacob Juma, there are some names that he mentioned. And he was very categorical about the fact that his life was in danger. Are there plans to speak to some of the people who were mentioned by A. Kabetas himself and some of the leaders that spoke today? Allow the investigators, allow the inspector of the general of police. Let him take his time and history will tell us what happened. Sorry. I rest my case on that issue. This is very bitchy, very raw investigation. Somebody has lost their life. It's a criminal there with a gun. At least we know that much. And it's, it's not a football Mr. match. You, we you cannot you... afford to spectate. At least not from the position of a government. It is quite understandable. Sir, what I can people tell you about speak, the government please. and what I must assure every case. Please give us some assurances with respect. Is to that every professional effort will be put to bring the killers of this person to book. That is what I can give you authoritatively mm. and I'm prepared to account for it not after 20 minutes yeah. or with the speed with which 